Good morning. Today you are going to be learning a really important photography tip called the rule of thirds. This is something that from here on out, if you're ever in a photography class or a yearbook class, any sort of design, you're going to hear this law called the rule of thirds. This is something that photographers use all around the world, photojournalists, um, more creative artists, travel photographers. It helps align your subject in the photo so that it looks really good. So let's talk about what this is. What is a third? So if you take a square, or it could be a rectangle when you have your image, okay? You're gonna pretend like you're drawing two lines right down the center. That draws it into thirds, okay? The next thing you're going to do is put it into thirds going horizontally. So it'll look like this. Let me move my face. There we go. So first we do these two horizontal boxes, and you'll see that up here. Then we're also going to divide it in thirds sideways. So now we have this really nice grid. Okay, so what happens, these four points where um, the lines intersect, this is the area where you are going to line up your subject, okay? You don't want to place a subject right in the center of the box. It gives you too much weird space, like on the sides. It actually is very natural to look at a photo and have a subject on one of these lines, okay? So more to one side and then the other. So that's what the rule of thirds is. So let's keep going. Here's what I'm talking about. This image is divided. We have our two vertical lines and our two horizontal lines. And this girl is right on this line and her head is very close to this point. So this follows the rule of thirds because she's on one of those third dividing lines. Here's another example. The cat, okay, is on this line. It's not way over to the side or the top or the bottom. It's kind of right on the third of the page. And the center of his body or her body is right in the middle of that intersecting point. Okay, here's another example. A girl who's sitting, she's not dead center in the photo. She's off to the left a little bit, right? Her face is right in that line where it intersects. Okay, that really helps. Even the mound she's sitting on intersects with this. Here's a shell, okay, and the subject doesn't have to cross both points. As long as you have it in one of these four points, it's gonna work with the rule of thirds. So the middle of the shell is right here. You don't have it way down in the corner, right in the center. And the thing that's really nice about this photo and helps explain the rule of thirds more is that you see this bottom line where the shell is, is the ground. Then the horizon point is a third of the way off the page. So the page is, or this photo is broken up really nicely where we have a third of the sky, a third water, and a third sand. And it is so pleasing to the eye. And you will start to notice as you frame things in your photos this way how nice they look and if you don't frame something this way you'll notice that it looks a little awkward it doesn't look quite right okay so those are my examples for you now go ahead we are going to practice the rule of thirds go ahead and get into your lesson and have fun taking some photos today